travelling to a game here at Anfield or maybe following the Reds away from home. There's a good chance you'll be connecting to public Wi-Fi somewhere along the way. But did you know that the free Wi-Fi is the Acker's favourite pitch? So instead of chasing a ball, they're ready to steal your sensitive information. Take a look at this. This trading in the intelligent trading system that I've started using. Yesterday evening, about 12 hours ago, I deposited 0.2499 Bitcoin into this. You can see I'm already up. And what this does is this uses the price changes in Bitcoin uh, going long when it looks like Bitcoin's going to go up, trading short when it looks like Bitcoin's going to go down. Now, if you want to get good at trading, you can uh, register for this course with Blue Sky Binary. This is the people that brought you Hatchworks, Spectre, Betverse. Yes. Now, let me introduce Lucas. And before I do so, I want to let you know this is not investment advice. Do your own due diligence. Do not invest any more than you can afford to lose. All I'm doing with you is sharing with you what I'm discovering as I travel along on the blockchain. And traveling along on the blockchain one day, I met Lucas. Hey, Lucas. <laughs> Hi, friends. Hi. I'm Lucas. 27 years old, um, <laughs> father since two and a half months, proud father. Yes. Um, I'm into crypto for, or let me think, five years now when uh -huh. I went to college. I got in contact first with Bitcoins and yeah, since then I'm, I'm very interested and um, also met some interesting guys like Crypto Rich, who also is my friend since two years now. Yeah, probably two years. Maybe about, about a year. I think about, about a, year. a year. Not longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, time is traveling so fast. <laughs> if you have a baby, <laughs> one month is feeling like like a year. Yes. And um, yes, and I'm promoting the intelligence trading bot Crypto Rich is using, and I want to show you how it's working and how you get in contact with me and how to set it up properly. Yes. Now the intelligence trading system. So you told me about this, I think three or four months ago, I think it was, right? And I was like, okay, a little bit curious. Let me see how it works out. I'm watching from the sidelines. And then a, about a week and a half ago, or actually a little bit longer than that, I, I put some money in. I put 0.1499 Bitcoin in. Mm. And uh, there were some problems with the exchange and with the trading bot or something. So trading was suspended for a while. Yes. And then it started again about 10 days ago and I was making a little bit of money and I liked what I heard and I liked what was on the telegram group, what people were saying who'd been in longer than me. So then yesterday, let me share the screen and you can talk us through it a little bit. I put in, like I said, 0.2499. Yes. Uh, you increased your balance from yeah. 0.15 BTC, uh, 0 0.145 BTC. If I'm correct, 1499, 1499, 1499 to uh, 0.25 BTC. Yes, first of all, um, the exchange we are dealing with is Deribit. Yeah. This is also a margin exchange compared to Deribit and um, Bybit. I guess those are familiar names for, for the ones trading. Mm -hmm. that area um the only difference is the stability on deribit there's not as much traffic as on the bigger exchanges but it's way more stable in terms of your orders not getting cancelled and you're not missing out trades this can totally kill your bot performance right um yeah the reason why the bot got suspended uh, um, blocked Sorry, was... Lucas, Lucas, before we come to that, just a little bit about Deribit. I think it's been going since okay. 2015, 2016. It's based, so it's, so it's yes. got some history behind it. It's uh, based in the Netherlands. And by margin trading, for people who don't know, my understanding is that, for example, if I place one Bitcoin to go long, then uh, if, if it's accurate, then it's as good as placing 100 Bitcoin or something. No, yes, I mean, you're basically trading with other people's money, but you can also lose lose big time all yeah. of your position if you get liquidated. Yeah. For those who don't know what liquidation means, liquidation means the money you bet went in the wrong direction for, uh, let's say, 10, 20 percent, depending on uh, how much you bet of mm -hmm. other money, then your account gets to zero. So this is the risk behind it. So don't touch it if you're not an experienced trader. That's my yes. advice. 
Yes. And, and like for me, I'm, I wouldn't put in one Bitcoin, not yet. Right. I know people have, but then if I look at how many Bitcoins I have, I, I'm only putting in what I'm willing to lose. Right. Mm. Not that I want to yeah. lose it at all, but you know, I'm not going to sell my mortgage, sell mortgage my house and sell all my maybe you, goods. Maybe you can scroll down to the bottom of the page. Yeah. There's also an estimated uh, liquidation price. So, um, Where is that? One, just scroll down further yep. to your positions. So um, as you can see here, um, this is crypto rich position. The bot has set up right now. Yep. The size is 100 US dollars. And um, now you can see in the middle of your screen, it says estimated liquidation price. It's empty. This means there's the liquidation price is that far away that the site will not even mention it. Okay, so what, oh, here, okay. Yes, yes, yes. So what the bot does is it manages to get your liquidation price as far away as possible, though there's no risk for the bot to get ever liquidated. Right. R right yeah. now there are over 200 bot users running for approximately you know, 40 days to 60 days, and there was no liquidation ever at all. Okay. Okay, now we're going to come to the bot users and uh, liquidation, well, how it's been going with other people, because you sent me some screenshots of mm -hmm. people who've, who've been doing it for a little bit longer than me. Yes. <laughs> how they've been doing. But you wanted to, you, you, I interrupted you when you were saying about the um, problems with the... With, uh, with, with the, the exchange, yes. yes. Um, please stay on the bottom so I can explain better. Yep. On Deribit, you have a limit of open orders. There is just one position you can have yep. and open orders. Before yep. it was 25 open orders and the bot used 25 open orders. The orders are placed around your position. Mm -hmm. And um, the bot was that fast in switching that, uh, that orders around your position that Deribit thought we would spam attack them. Right. That's why they shut down the bot. So they lowered the open orders to 10. Now, right now we're staying in their rules. We got approved by Deribit itself, so it's totally legal to use the bot. We will not get blocked or locked again. Mm -hmm. And uh, what's good on the exchange is that they refunded us the loss while being blocked on our accounts. So um, most of the users who reacted uh, quick enough got all their money back, all their losses which occurred while the bot got blocked and stayed in one position. So um, then we, we switched the algorithm and three weeks later the bot started to run again with right. 10 open orders, not right, 25. Right. Okay, and that's running and that is how it's going now. And then do you want to say what, what talk us through this yeah this is this is your order history it's basically uh, showing how good the the bot is is running how how uh, fast of a worker he is if you would click on include old the sheet would be i guess way too long yes so on this side uh 100 um orders the bot is placing if you yeah. can just scroll down um the green buy is, is just for buy sell is for sell um, right next to it is the order size and these are not um, orders that were not filled. These are all filled orders, all executed trades. Right. Uh, yeah, this is, this is more than a human could, could ever do. And how long are some of the trades? Like, um, as, yeah, depending on what the bot is doing. Uh, most of the time, the bot is just um, opening a position and trying to close it as fast as possible and switch from a long to a short or the opposite from a short to a long. But sometimes if price movement is traveling um, more than, let's say, one or two days in one direction without any reversal, the bot has some technical indicators based around volume and so on to get your position closer to the actual market price. So you will buy more, buy more, buy more, or sell more, sell more, sell more to get you in a better position. So if the market reverses, you can have your profit as well. Right, right. And this column here, what is it? How do I know how much I made on each trade? 
Is that's very yeah? that's very hard to say. The fees are just your trading fees. This is just yes. what the exchange is taking from your from your trades. It's right. very hard to tell on on Deribit exactly how much profit uh, your trades did, but you can find it out if you um, combine positions. For example, let's say uh, one position. Let's let's take the the first three positions. Mm -hmm. um, for example, your bot was buying at 9.912 US dollars mm -hmm. and was selling at 9.962 US dollars. Then you can scroll above. Yep, and it scroll, was scroll, to, it yeah, scroll to the top. There's also a calculator you can use. Maybe we can do it right now. Scroll up. And there's a small calculator. Do you see it? Go down. Yes, in the corner, in the corner of the white field. Uh, here yes no. click it so and then you can enter long your position size was 90 us dollars okay and then you can scroll down a bit to see exactly uh, what amount uh, at what price level he was buying so he was buying at 9.912 yeah just copy it okay Or just type it in manually, whatever goes faster for you. We're here, entry price here. Yes, entry price. Yes, and I'm not sure what the exit price was exactly. 996.5, that was there. 9962, it was. Yeah, 9962. 62. Obviously, these are just very small dollar amounts. This is just 90 US dollars and maybe like half a percent of price change. But the bot still managed to do that. In we can also check the time. Mm -hmm. If you scroll down, mm -hmm. this was made in three minutes. Three minute trade. Yes, three minute trade for 50 cents. Hey, no problem. No, right? no problem for me. Obviously, if your account is bigger this would be a bigger profit but uh, to earn 50 cent in three minutes nobody would say no no well with no effort and the thing yeah. that i know of course the thing that i know if i go to this chart coin trader right now this is a free service it links to trading view and let me look at the indicators here you've got the volume indicator i can uh let's have a look at this You've got the MACD at the bottom, which I don't quite really understand. You've got the <laughs> RSI, you've got the volumes, which I do understand. The red and green candles, these are trend lines and resistance and support lines that I've drawn. And if I want more indicators, uh, let's be honest. For I can, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can choose from here <laughs> Bollinger Bands, I can add a chalk in oscillator, whatever that is, right? And it would just take me forever. It's like, you know, to be good at trading, I think as a human being is it's it's degree level knowledge it's like doing degree a degree right oh yes and i and i think this is the advantage of the bot that it it can take into account all sorts of indicators and just look and see are the conditions of satisfaction met yes or no with no hope oh they're almost met let me put some money in and oh trust fear. me human <laughs> emotions kill your gains yes fear creates it's it's all this stuff that makes four good trades worth like zero if you have one bad trade and you be yes. too greedy. Yes, 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 yes. Now you can see here, uh, we started off at 0 0.2505 and we're now at 0 0.2504 because there's also some, like you said earlier, about the loss prevention. Because, yes. Uh, the, there are stops. Basi basically, the bot will never sell in loss. Never. It will chase a position as long as it reverses and can sell in profit. Right. Right. Unlike human beings that might FOMO in or catch, try no. and catch a falling life. The, I can say so much. The bot is not allowed in an upwards movement to go for a long position. Right. Yep. Or the other way around in a downwards movement, go for a short. The bot is just not allowed. If you ask someone who's working on an exchange and do it professionally, their algorithm is also not allowing to trade like this. Yes. Yeah. Like their, I suppose also their personal algorithm. Yeah. You, sh you should never chase a movement. You will just get wrecked. Yep. Put it like this.
Yeah, absolutely. And the bot doesn't do that because it doesn't have emotion, fear and greed running the show. Yes. Now, what can you say? What are the indicators that it looks out for? Uh, most of these indicators are volume indicators. 